I think we're about to be on. I think we are. Wow. Ooh, look at that muscles. No, just kidding. I know, right? Hey, guys. Heather Smith with Heather Smith Outdoors. And Bob Sigley with Sigley Outdoors. That's right. Well, mind the drown oh. rat. It is horrible here. It's terrible. It is actually... Cold, wet. And you know what's worse here at Sam Rayburn? What? It's going to get colder. Yeah, but the sun's going to be out tomorrow. <laughs> That's going to make me feel a lot better. For you guys that don't know, it's the FLW, the MLF, this weekend. And uh, actually, I'm going to be fishing in it. We've got a lot of pros that are coming up here, and, and co-anglers are going to be fishing yeah, in it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of boats and stuff, but they're not pre-fishing today. Trust me. No, it is absolutely oh, horrible it conditions here. Invisible. It is, and it's going to get colder, as we said. So, Saturday. Saturday is going to be interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's... After all this rain, cloud cover, water temperature, the lake temperature was up in the upper 50s. It's probably going to be around 51, 52. And those that don't know, anything under 56 is a complete game changer when you start getting into fishing yeah, because so the fishing actually changes. The fish actually freeze up. They don't move. So Well, yeah, they kind of become kind of, yeah. nostalgic and just kind of linger Yeah. Uh, and kind of you know, suspend and mm -hmm. just makes it tougher to bite. All these guys that's been out pre-fishing, everything, the pattern that they had, <laughs> out the door. Out the window. Yep. And not only that, you know, here what I am looking for, because we don't find out who we draw that we're fishing with until tomorrow. Yeah. I'm actually hoping. I mean, I'm, it's always luck of the draw. But, you know, I've got Danny Isles is an opportunity I could fish with, Albert Collins, Dickie Newberry. Danny, for those of you who don't know, Danny fishes with his partner. He broke the record in the country this year, earlier this yeah, year. Yeah, new national record, five fish over 49 pounds, almost 50 pounds. That was the Texas. That's almost a 10-pound average. I know, for five um, fish. Five You're fish. talking about, that was on February 22nd. That was the yeah. Texas Teen Trails event. So yeah. hopefully, you know, I'm sitting there going, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, let that be fun. Yeah, well, but, I'm going to tell you, the whole key to fishing in cold weather like this is you've got to slow it down. Uh, I mean, it's just barely moving baits and stuff because these fish are not going to be running after a bait and all this. If it comes in front of them, they may reach out and grab it. React, that's called a reactionary bite, yeah. right? So, so well, you're going to have to tee them off. We are. <laughs> yeah. And even then, you know, I, a prime example, I mean, you know what? It always seems out for tournaments. It never works out really well because just the fall shootout for Sealy Outdoors, I was fishing in that. We were literally fishing. I fished in a hurricane. Yeah. I did fish in a hurricane. Now I'm going to go out there in a monsoon. Put that in your bucket list. I can't put that in my bucket list. Well, fished uh, in a hurricane. You know, now, here's yeah. the other deal. The, the, the winds will be way down as compared to what it is. Yeah. So, 5 to 10 mile an hour winds and stuff. You want a little chop, probably, if you're throwing a big spinner bait, slow rolling it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and that's what you're going to have to do is slow roll. Slow roll a spinner bait, slow roll a chatter bait. Um, just you know, I, depending on if and also it's going to depend if you're you know deep water or if you're going to be shallow water. You know, the the lake is down about four feet, and a lot of the you know we had some deeper grass now that's become a little shallower. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing about it is they're not on the inside edges of the grass line; they're on the outside edge. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I was talking to uh, 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 Rusty Clark and. Rambo the other day, which are probably two of the top fishermen on this lake. Uh, they're just good fishermen whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And they were catching some big fish on a rattle trap. Yeah. But now, you know, uh, and they were burning the rattle trap, right? And, you know, they were ripping it out of the grass. And right. That's when the fish, you know, were there. Right on the edge when it drops back in. Yeah. yeah. So now these, you know, and, but they were fishing shallow. Now. Were they going to the hydrilla burning it like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. want to do it because if you hang up in the hydrilla and you pop it, that's when you're going to get a reaction bite. Right, when it comes back so down the floor. anyway, because uh, Rusty caught <coughs> one over eight and had two over six, so, you know, just in pre-fishing the other day. But just like uh, he was telling me, game changer, it's over now. So they're going back. A lot of people are going to go back to the spinnerbaits, and they're going to take the big Colorado blades or a big willow leaf blade, and they're going to slow roll it. Yeah. You know, so that's probably uh, the ticket. The other thing is, the lake's going to get muddier. Yeah. You know, we got a lot of runoff and stuff like this. So this clear water stuff is going to become stained. Some of it's going to be muddy. 
a lot of guys I think are going to be throwing some jigs. You know, I, yeah, uh, there is going to be a lot of jig around. I'm not talking about football jigs. I'm no, talking, talking about actual jig, jig. jigs. Yeah. Stuff. They're not going to be punching the grass. They're going to do it on the outside ledges mm -hmm. uh, where there's some brush. Your creek channels, your deeper creek channels come up, coming up, when they come up to a shallow area, there's generally some brush around. Mm -hmm. These fish are going to hold real tight to structure. Right. You know, so that's what's going to happen, and it's going to be interesting. Because, you know, my single bike out the door ain't going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? Well. Well, you know, I still think there may be a potential for uh, using a Carolina with a fluke on there. Uh, but yeah, or a lizard. Yeah. You know. That caffeine shot by Van, Kevin Van Dam, I've been working it. I mean, it's been successful. Yeah. So I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to be a tough. You know, ever, always someone gets on them. Yeah. But, uh, you know, and I'm sure that these fish are schooling up. And if you get into the right water fish, you may catch a big fish. You just, you know, now's the time of the year to start where we're starting to see bigger fish being caught. Right. You know, and. Of course, they're thriving on shad and crawfish and stuff because, you know, the spawn, it won't be long. We're about three months away. And uh, so these fish are going to get thick and they're going to get full and uh, they're going to feed. Uh, well, if the sun comes out and the water temperature starts getting back up into the upper 50s, low 60s, mm -hmm. you know, the rattle trap tournament is due January the 17th. Right. If it warms up any, God, that'll be a slugfest. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, right now, you understand, it looks, it looks like a monsoon here. I mean, right, my hair was straight. Okay, so <laughs> Bob and I, it's earlier, we were actually going to do a, 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 a pop-up surprise live earlier. Yeah. We ended up having lunch with Tommy Shelton, uh, and Tommy made a surprise visit up here. And Tommy actually holds the lake record for Sam Raver. 16.8. He's had it for 20 years. So, yeah, well, we 20, were going to do a live earlier. plus years. Yeah. And you know, he caught it in February uh, on a big spinnerbait. Yeah. And he backlashed. Did he? As he was trying to get the backlash and stuff out, and about the time he got it out, his line was moving, and he just started reeling, and when the slack picked up, she set the hook herself. Oh, wow. And then the fight was on. You see how this works out, guys? You spend all this time practicing your hook set and doing all this other stuff, and then <laughs> you break the, you get a record by having a professional yeah. overrun, and she does it for you. Boy, so she was a beautiful fish. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking for, uh, obviously, one of my sponsors, Sealy Outdoors, by the way, is one of my amazing sponsors. I got some of the awesome lures this morning. Well, you know, you've got... Uh, Pretty good sponsors and stuff, and especially the new rod sponsor. I do, Old 18, yeah. yeah so yeah. Old 18, the HSO rods are coming out. I'm going to be working those this weekend. Real Wicked. Real Wicked also hooked me up with my custom bibs. Yeah. So um, for the tournament. Oh, that, her clothing apparel is amazing. Wait till you see it. Yeah, and I got my own line from HSO coming out. I'm so excited. It's actually already there. You can go on a Real Wicked and look at Heather Smith Outdoors. Hey, right, we got to stop the news. What's that? You know what today is, don't you? It is New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Yes. So we want... On behalf of Heather Smith Outdoors and Sealy Outdoors, we want to wish all of you a very prosperous, very safe, happy new year. And hopefully, uh, don't forget cabbage and black eyed peas and cornbread tomorrow. That's a must. <laughs> Absolutely, it is. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you for Stay listening soon. to us. See you soon. Good luck to all the anglers out there. Have a safe and happy new year. Oh, wait, 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 wait. By the way, what's that? They can go to Sealy Outdoors right uh, now. Uh huh. Because our schedule for next year is on uh -huh. our website, the Sealy, S-E-A-L-Y, outdoors.com. And matter of fact, we've even got people starting to register right now online. You know, Sean so, Button hit me up. He's actually fishing the Toyota Series. He messaged me and asked me about the schedule because he's going to fish all of them. Oh, cool. And I, I will be with them at all of the tournaments. We've got Gunnersville, Toledo Bend, Lake Forks, uh, Raven Rayburn. Twice. Rayburn twice in my... Did I forget? Yeah, that? no, you did good. I get covered. Yeah, we starting in the March in Alabama, uh, on Lake Gunnersville, right outside of Scottsboro. On my birthday. Amazing. Lake. On my birthday. Amazing. Lake. It imagine is on my birthday. That. I know. Imagine that. Anyways, Anyways we love y'all. Bye. I love you so Happy much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, and good luck, anglers. Bye bye.